everyone to what's probably going to be a horrible game for me. Penn State is hosting us, Kent State. They are the fourth ranked team in the entire country. We're going to hopefully finish in the middle of the MAC. We're going to get absolutely killed. So let's take a look at this Penn State team and see who are we going to get killed by. So obviously, when you're the number four ranked team in the country, you should have multiple good players. I'm assuming, they're, since they're a Big Ten team, a lot of good offensive linemen, good defensive linemen, good strong safety, tight end, running back, quarterback, Drew Aller. He, if I'm remembering correctly... Was he the quarterback in that game where Penn State upset Ohio State? He might not have been, actually. But they have two really good running backs, very good pass rushers, which, if you watched the last episode, you would know means we're, we're in for a really, really unfortunate, unlucky, and kind of annoying game. So... I'm so scared for this. So scared for this, but gotta do it anyway. Here are the highlights. All right, we're going smash, but I'm really looking running back out of the backfield. Are we gonna share a tight end? I mean, if I have to. I mean, it wasn't my first option, but I mean, if I have to, I guess I will take a touchdown. Very disappointed, wanted to give the ball a running back. I guess we'll settle for our third string receiver getting a touchdown. I mean, he was insanely open. I don't know what defense that was, but they should not call that again. All right, we're gonna try a speed option here. Brown, I need you to block your man. I maybe could have cut that with Ulitowski, if we're being honest, but he is at a high risk of injury and I don't want my quarterback when considering how bad our backups are, taking any more unnecessary hits. But I'm still very glad we're up 14-0, pending an extra point, obviously, against Penn State. And honestly, this is the most Penn State thing to do. Just lose an unnecessary game and then lose to Ohio State or and or Michigan and just miss the playoffs despite having an insanely stacked team. Take Lutowski out, put into Shields, and let's run the speed option. Okay, we're running right at two Penn State players, but that should mean they gotta make a decision. They made the wrong one. Garcia for the touchdown. We were up three at half against Penn State. Looking to pull off maybe the biggest upset? Nah, I'm just kidding. This isn't the biggest upset. We've been playing good this year. But a huge upset here in Happy Valley. And the Penn State crowd, they don't... They don't seem too happy anymore. I, I, I seem to notice it's a lot quieter than it was at the start of the game. But to Shields, take him one for the team to get that pitch off. I will say, he deserves his flowers for being able to do that. Getting the play from the sideline. Uh, Wide eye try for the hit stick with a corner. I should have just wrapped him up. I was just a little upset I didn't get to the quarterback with Studio. Thought I had the lane. Turns out I didn't. And they get a touchdown before half, but honestly, I was kind of getting a little bit too relaxed. Kind of needed this, I think. All right, let's make some magic happen. You've got to be kidding me. This game just does not want us to win. <gasps> oh, we do get the interception, though. Let's house this. Let's house this. <laughs> we might have, we're actually going to house it. Okay, that makes up for the incredibly stupid fumble on the play before. But getting that interception right there, right before the half, to put us up three in the... I still don't understand the one sleeve hoodie. Like, I I don't even know how or why you would do that. But, I mean, I'm not going to turn down a, what, 105, 104, 103-yard pick six? And 
<laughs> like, I think he's must have the same exact speed rating as number three. Because he stayed, like, four yards, three, four yards behind him the entire time. This is just perfect. All right, guess pass. Oh, no. Please bring him down. Okay. Bro, they've scored two touchdowns, and they've both been just lucky touchdowns because our defense is just so bad. Like, I even tried to strafe and do a conservative tackle and everything. is open field, and he just goes right past me. And then I try to dive, and he doesn't dive right at the player. He dives, like, to his side. I tried to switch on to get the hit, which made me switch late to the corner. I mean, look at that. Dude didn't even try to put a hand out. I mean, it's it's like a Miami's Dolphin corner against the Chiefs in that one playoff game where it was like one degree. All right, let's try a nice little jet seam running back, whatever this play is called. Basically get a running back against a linebacker. Ooh, that's risky. Yeah. Well, at least he got a big hit there. At least. <laughs> at least. Let's just switch to a cover one. Theron trips bunch. I'm honestly hating playing this game right now because I can just feel them winning. I, it's just one of those games right now where I can feel them coming back and I don't think there's anything I can do to stop it. And I don't think there ever will be a same thing. I, like, I can't even speak because I just, I know there's eight minutes left in the game and I'm just trying to figure out how are we going to lose it this time. Let's try this curls play because essentially McCray outrunning a linebacker. Catch it. Let's go McCray. Bro, I'm just going to pass the ball to McCray the rest of the season. Rest of you guys, I'm sorry. You're always going to be the second option. I'm going to feed this man because he's going to feed the families of this coaching staff. Because all we are doing right now is just scoring again and again and again purely because of this man. And this man alone. Like, he's just that good. And I'm just loving my life right now. All right, studio, gonna be using you. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Ooh, I don't know if he got both feet down. I don't quite know if he got both feet down. Replay can hopefully check for us. But I really don't think he got, not, okay, I'm, I don't even know why I'm saying both feet. I don't think he got any of his feet down. I think this might just be out of bounds. I mean, it was an insane play, but I think Probably going to be out of bounds. If it isn't, then it hats off to him. Actually, no. He did get a foot down. All right. It's guaranteed to chew more clock. At the same time, could get us some more yards. It's a lot more yards. That's actually a touchdown. Oh, the tail ski. <laughs> That's one way to put the game even more out of reach. Forget chewing clock. I'm just going to score with Ulitowski, who's had an incredible game today. Actually, the entire team's had an incredible game. We are about to score 42 points against Penn State. But still. Actually, I'm going to go on daily. Let's try to get some pressure on the quarterback. Because I don't want to cover any of these guys in coverage. Scared to go on any of the safeties. Allow something stupid. <gasps> what a hit from Folk. Just had an interception on the last defensive drive. Forces a fumble on this drive. And the Kent State Golden Flashes are living, laughing, and loving. That's not the right order, but I don't care. <laughs> what a hit. The upset has officially been pulled off. Somehow, some way, the Kent State Golden Flashes walk into Happy Valley. I don't even know if it is Happy Valley. I'm just making that up, maybe. We got Tommy Ulitowski. 
Heisman level performance, I will say. Like, as much as we are stuck being Kent State, should put him in Heisman contention, if we're going to be completely honest. Oops, did not mean to click that. I want to look at the stats to show how badly we dominated them. Oh, more than 100 yards than them. Rushing, we dominated. They had no rushes. Like, absolutely nothing for substance. Got a couple of lucky pass plays. I'll give them credit for that, but pretty much it for them. Ulitowski, 26 of 37, 286 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. But also did pretty decent running ball. Yeah, leading carrier, 6 for 51 and a touchdown, but... I mean, it's hard to beat your number one running back, Gavin Garcia. 10 carries, 42 yards, and two touchdowns. DeShields had a good run on a... Was it read? I think that one was a read option. He had good speed option tosses, but I think that those yardage came from a read option. Krishan McRae. Number one stud. Moved him from outside wide receiver into the slot just because I feel like I, I used my slot receivers enough. Wasn't really utilizing him as much as I thought I should. And boy, did that pay off. Garcia had some good slip screens. And no one else really needed to be used because McRae was just kind of our guy all game long. Eight pancakes out of Du Long. No crazy tackles. I mean, Folk had six. Two sacks out of Balot and Campbell Jr. 103-yard pick six from Xavier Coakley was kind of clutch, especially to end the half. And obviously, Folk had the interception as well as forcing a fumble on the next drive, so hats off to him. And kicking was perfect yet again. No crazy kick return or punt returns. Just a good old school game, I guess. And we do level up. Almost level 6 now. I don't know what any of this means. But let's check out recruiting. Because they should feel very good about our team right now, if we're being honest. Oops, I did not mean to go to this screen. I want to stay in this screen. Sort by interest status. So, Tyree Carmona's pretty much exclusively wanting to come to Kent State, so I will I'll just kind of keep everything on him. Oh, I just saw you can only have 25 hours on a single player. Gotcha. Well, you, my good sir, let's add an action. Let's DM you. All right, and Honeycut, let's do... Can't schedule a visit. Let's... Oh, we already have those going... Let's search his social media as well. Let's make sure there's nothing shady going on there. Larry Clay. All but confirmed to come to us. Let's just offer him a scholarship. Like, I just want... Send the house. I want to get a player. Oh, wait. I can't send the house. Um, Let's DM him. So when does... Like, when do all these hours kick in? Like, is it like week 8 or like week 9 where all the stuff goes down? Because it's been a while since anything kind of big has happened. I don't really want a fullback. We don't use a fullback in our current offense anymore. Uh, I don't want a punter. I think I'm just going to save my hours, if we're being honest. Like, I don't think I need anything crazy. And I'm assuming someone in the comments has already said, I will be changing the difficulty. Oh, <gasps> Let's go! We got Larry Clay! Our first official commit, one-star receiver out of Virginia. Nothing crazy, nothing to write home about. We did finally get a player to commit to our school. Yep, Larry committed to our school. Oh, we're going to lose him to Marshall. Risk of transfer went down a little bit. Love to see that. And that's honestly good because I'm going to be making some changes for everyone. I was playing on varsity. I will be changing it up to all American. Should not be pulling off the subsets, but I didn't want to. Like, I don't want to play these really tough games knowing I'm just gonna get my butt kicked. So, decided to keep it low while I kind of learned the game. Got a good feeling now, and plus our schedule for a while. Where do we even see my schedule? Schedules for us, like we. It's like all Mac games from this point out. We got to buy, but like it's Mac game, Mac game, Mac game. So 
playing at competition of our normal level, so increased difficulty, and we'll just kind of have to wait and see how it how it exactly goes. But another huge win against Penn State. Nice to feel what we'll feel like in probably three or four years getting to compete against the top dogs. But unfortunately, we do still have a long way to go. But if you want to see how we get to there and get to revel in the greatness once we do, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all for this first game of our max season against Eastern Michigan. Thank <laughs> you.